Assalamualaikum, I am Aisha and firstly I want to say thank you so much to the organizing committee for inviting me to be a part of Wednesday with Welfare. It is truly such an honor to be doing this video today and I hope that we can all collectively benefit from each other. The theme for this video is something that is closely related with our daily lives which is how one can be productive. In this video, I will be uh, mainly focusing on personal productivity which is generally just a uh, ticking off the boxes on your to-do list as efficiently as possible. I would also like to add that everything that I am sharing in this video is based on my personal experience and that productivity looks different on everyone. What I mean by this is how I perceive a productive day is not necessarily the same as how you would perceive what a productive day would look like. Alright, so let's get straight into it. The first thing I want to point out is to have our own personal systems. I am a firm believer that we all should have a system to follow to go about our day and our task, be it mundane or not. I think the easiest example I can give to explain the system that I'm talking about right now is uh, to look from the Islamic perspective. We know how that we have our five daily prayers which starts at 5 to 6 a.m. and then we have our midday prayers and then we have um, Maghrib and Isha and we are encouraged to plan our day, plan our task around these prayer times. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen a lot of uh, people recommending this system to start your day as early as 5 a.m. and sleep um, the moment the clock hits 10 p.m. but then again productivity or a productivity system of how I would like to call it is not something that is one size fits all. Your system should be tailored to your own peak productivity hours and how you can do this is to track your energy levels throughout the day. In a day, you would notice that there are certain times where you feel that your energy is low. We call this energy dips and personally for me, I would not do uh, any studying or do something that requires a lot of focus during these energy dips. I know plenty of people who start their day while other people are sleeping but I know just as many people who produce their best works at night time. I know that this sounds a lot like time management but I promise you it isn't but instead it is interrelated with each other because once you find out and know when is your preferred work time, your time management skills will follow. Now let's talk about prioritization. Since we're still students, I'm sure that every one of us have deadlines to meet, group discussions and also our extracurriculars to take care of. It can get really overwhelming but we can avoid this by knowing how to prioritize the things that we need to do first. I find planning uh, helps a lot of us whether we are planning for the day before or the week ahead and the easiest way to go around this is to do your task uh, in a chronological order. By this way, you can identify which assignment or which task requires your immediate attention. I love using spreadsheets such as Google Sheets or Excel because I get to rearrange my task by order of their date. But if you find that spreadsheets can get a little bit too boring for you, I recommend Notion. I love Notion so much. I use it through their app. I use it through their website because it makes planning way more fun because we can uh, add pictures or mood boards to really motivate you to be really productive. And here is a reminder, please, please keep our plans realistic. We do not want to put pressure on ourselves. The last thing we want to do is be pressured because we assigned ourselves too many things to do in such a short time. On that note, please do not forget to add breaks while you are working. I suggest having the 25 5 intervals or 50 10 intervals which is 25 minutes of work and 5 minutes of rest or 50 minutes of work and 10 minutes of rest because resting is so productive please do not be so hard on yourself if you feel tired or you feel that you had an unproductive day because like i said just now resting is so productive being burnt out should not be normalized and please add resting in your to-do list if you haven't already I promise you, if you let your eyes rest just for a while, you'll come back more energized, more fresh, and ready to get right back at it. Alright, so we have reached the end of the video. I hope you did get something from this, and I hope you did find it helpful. And if you did, please let us know. Or if you have your own personal productivity tips that you would like to share with me, I will be so, so excited if you do. Thank you again to Welfare for having me. Thank you so much for watching this video up until this point. Um, please stay safe and stay home. 
Bye-bye and thank you.